Welcome back to Banished Again in New Stavanger. I'm Tenacious Viking, your colonial host. <laughs> Somewhere in all of this is a forester's lodge being built. Can you tell where it is? I can't either, but I found it anyway. It's in here somewhere. It was. There it is. It's in there. I just can't see it for all the trees. I had it a minute ago. Honest, I did. It's in here. <clears throat> No, really it is. Maybe when a few more trees come down. <clears throat> There's a plot of land in here somewhere. There it is. Near here. See, they're taking... Oh, there. Over here. Maybe. Nope. I can't find it. <laughs> I don't know where my Forester Lodge went. Because I also have them taking... Um, stone and... Oh, there it is. Iron out of here. There we go. There's my Forester Lodge. See, I knew it was here somewhere. But look at that, from this angle, you can't see that at all. 1% complete. Yeah, you want to speed that up a little bit, please? I mean, we're at 10 times normal speed. Hmm. We are building that because we're replacing this one. Beep. Which is in an awkward place. And, um, in fact, today's the day. We are going to tear it down. I'm, I'm debating whether I should have them just plant for a while first to keep the uh, gatherer and the hunting cabin and the herbalist going. Um, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to change this to a uh, plant only for a little bit, and then I'm going to shut it down. Uh, that way we can keep the gatherer and hunting cabin going. Let's see, we have one up here, don't we? We'll we'll maybe add one, a hunting cabin and gatherer down here too once this is built. And uh, then we can. By that time, we'll have built up some houses, and and this hunter and gatherer won't be accomplishing much anyway. So we'll do that. We got three new houses here. Uh, let's check our... We're basically just keeping score right now with uh, the citizens. 177, we've gained a little bit. Got 19 students, 28 children, 99% clothed, 92% educated. That's pretty good. 52 homes. That's a good stat to look at, too. See how homes relates to population. and Graphs... Uh, my graphs always look like this. Pretty much. So, they don't tell me much. Would really like to see the cattle population increasing dramatically. I suspect with uh, both of the chicken pastures over full of chickens, uh, that we will we'll have a lot of chicken available to eat as well. Get up to this cattle pen. Oh, this one's good. This one can be split. Okay. I'm going to do that. Open this up as a cattle 
yard. Add a herds. Uh, well, maybe. Just had my game minimize on me. That's interesting. Okay, that's ready. I just have to do the herdsman. And then we're going to split this. And we're at... Oh, we are at 10. Okay. Did it take that command? Yeah, it did. Okay. I don't know where they went, though. Maybe they went down here. They shouldn't have, but they might have. Because it said split before I even opened that other one up to cattle, so... They may have gone down here. I don't know why they would, though. That doesn't make any sense to me. Five? No, I don't think so. I think they're going up here. I just don't see them moving yet. There they go. There they go. So we now have three cattle pens, and if we can get those up to capacity each, well, we should have plenty of milk for the creamery to work with, and maybe even a little extra to sell. Who knows? Now I need to see... I can get a road up here yet. I think I can pass the storage. Yeah, I can. Let's see what we can do up here. How far we can go. I don't really want to go too much farther than that. So we'll start there. Oh, I can go up here too. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. I didn't didn't know if I had the road coming through here or not. But I do. So we'll uh we'll figure out the ideal place to close this off. So we can just put a couple of houses right by the water here. And then um we'll start building some houses there. Lettuce seeds and wheat seeds. We don't have lettuce. Let's get some lettuce. And I don't remember how many of these we need. I know we got to get 3120. There. And then we need three of these. And we got to trade. Yay, let us. All right. So I don't need lettuce anymore. Big wheat. I don't I have wheat? Maybe I don't have wheat. Oops. Uh let me check that. He might leave before I get this done, but it's alright too. I've got lettuce now. I do not have wheat. I'm going to buy wheat too then because I've got two two duplicated duplicated fields. So with the three logs, plenty of firewood I can trade. Might as well strike while the iron is hot, I guess. I don't know if it matters, but I like to have a variety of food. There. Okay, thank you, sir. Someday I'll figure out if there's any other seeds I need. So, now uh, I want to convert... Uh, is this a squash? Yeah, squash field to wheat. And uh, two potato fields? No, two corn fields. So a corn field to lettuce for the next year. So we have one of each. Well, that was fun. Okay. 
a few little trees going in here now so we can increase the productivity of the gatherer and the hunting cabin until uh, until the uh, the uh, the new ones get built and I need to see how uh, be nice you just see how that Forester's Lodge is coming. It's done. Yay! And then I need to figure out where the road should go. I think I need to go. Yeah, see, it needs to go up there. And I have no idea how far I brought this road down. <laughs> About to there. I think I kind of want this to come down a little farther here. And line up more. I don't know where I left at. Oh, oh, there. Okay, good. Thank you. Whoop. Now I'm not sure where this road... Oh, here. Okay. Well, after an OBS crash and uh, quite a lengthy uh, time getting it rebooted, I have no idea where we were. <laughs> I did get the game saved, so I could call that up fresh anyway. Uh, but I'm not sure what we were doing, so, um, let's see, we split into three pastures, um, uh, looking at maybe where to put a, um, yeah, I think we were looking at where to put a, uh, a gatherer's hut here, weren't we? Um, which we probably ought to do right away. Yeah, see, I can just see right there. I th Well, let's go off one and uh, build a road. It is so very, very frustrating to have uh, software fail in the middle of a stream especially of course when you're in a hurry and trying to get some things done and And yet another program loaded and interrupted me. I want to get over here and put some more houses in this area because... I... Oh, yeah, you know, we, got, we could do that, can't we? I don't really want another road back here, but I could if I needed to. I just don't see any point to it. I would rather have one... Yeah, here. And have a spot back there for it. Uh, let's see if I turn it... Turn it that way. And then I can put the ones next to it uh, along the new road here. It'll be great. So I was just about ready to answer somebody on chat when OBS crashed. They wanted to know what mobs I would rec um, mobs mods I would recommend. 
Truthfully, if I were to do start mods uh, all over again in Banished, I would just do Colonial Charter, the latest version of Colonial Charter, which is 1.6 something, I forget which. I'm playing 1.5 something here, uh, but I'm going to be doing a 1.6 uh, in the near future when this series is over. But the other the Colonial Charter uses a lot of the other mods, and, and they're all fine. They all seem to work well. They all seem to be stable. But when you play uh, Colonial Charter, you have to turn those off anyway, and they do use most of those mods. So it's really the easiest way to get the most variety in the game. Each of the mods is fine in and of themselves, but they don't add a lot of variety to the game. Colonial Charter adds kind of a, a different dimension to it, a different, a different level of complexity um, that uh, challenges you. Um, and and I, it, it doesn't change the gameplay or the strategy, but it makes it infinitely more interesting. Uh, so that's, that's what I like about it. Okay, those trees are planted, and uh, I think for that reason I can go ahead and uh, nuke this Forester Lodge. We still don't have that other one finished. Man, that's taking a long time. Holy cow. Well, yeah, it's done. So do we only have three of them then? Oh, yeah, we only have three or four in each of the lodges. That's what's going on until the other one shuts down. <coughs> and I think maybe right up here... We should have a. Um, eh, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait on. I was gonna put in a. a I don't remember what to call it now. A stockpile, I guess. Yeah, it's gonna put a stockpile in here, but I'm not sure where I want to put it exactly. So, and I might put a storage shed in too for some of the um, gatherers' hut things. Okay, and that's... Oh, did I demolish a house at the same time? I didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to take those houses out. Oops. I should really get a different angle on all this. See, I told you I was really confused by this building. It just didn't make any sense to me at all when I this is the first one I put down. This worked out kinda nice here. I got a little bit of a path to both places here, but I didn't know what I was doing there either. We are not building up enough food. Uh, each year. I don't like that. That makes me very nervous, very unhappy. So now we, we're kind of faced with a situation here where we have a place for houses. But we don't really have anything for them to do. Um, I mean, we might just build another fishing shack here just for something for these people to do. Um... Could put one in here, maybe two, but this is the absolutely the most efficient one I've ever had. So, not quite sure what to do there, but that's a concern. I have a place for housing here, but I don't have anything for them to do. Uh, we may put some duplicate industries in here. Um, maybe we can suppose we can sneak up here and do some farming. Put some farms up here. Maybe we can. And I got the farms farther and farther away from housing. And, um... Yeah, we're about out of space here for that, so... And I could put a house in here and... Maybe squeeze a couple more in someplace. Just to provide a little bit clo closer housing. But the farming isn't so bad because... 
you know, you're farming during the summer, spring and summer and fall and, and not during the winter, so you can walk to the farm and, and uh, it's, a, it's a little far to go, but it's not going to be, um, it's not going to be that bad. Uh, how are we doing on... Okay, we're going to put in a second dairyman here because we have plenty of laborers. Uh, we're going to put another builder on for now. Um, a couple more stone cutters. And we can cut back on some of those if we need to. We've got these resources thinned out nicely here. And maybe it's time to um, to gather these as well, huh? Wow, we can go forever. Spring is a good time to do this. If you do it during the winter, they tend to freeze to death out here. <laughs> and we're sending them quite a ways, so. Now I suspect we also need to build some more houses. But my time is up for this episode. Join me next time when once again Tenacious Viking plays Banished in Neustavanger.